Oh yeah, folks, it's the WC. Here with a recap of Game 1 NBA Finals 2017 between the Cavaliers and the Warriors. I want to give you guys a little bit of an idea what you're not supposed to do against the Golden State Warriors. Um, one of the things about the Warriors is that they use they use your pace against you. You understand what I'm trying to say? And if you're a slow-paced team like the Cavaliers are, the, you know, the Cavaliers don't play at a super high pace. They're capable, but they don't necessarily have the shooters, you know what I'm saying, that Golden State does to keep up that pace. They can go to that pace, but they can't keep up with it. So this is what I want to show y'all, all right? All right, on this play right here, all right, let me show y'all. Cal Corver pulls up for three, all right, and misses it, okay? I'm going to pause it real quick right there, all right? I'm going to pause it real quick right there to just show y'all what's going on, all right? One of the reasons why the Cavaliers lost this game is because their transition defense is complete garbage. It was garbage in this game, you know what I'm saying? And the way that you beat the Warriors, you beat the Warriors in a half-court set. You set your own pace. All right. And then you push the pace when the time comes right. All right. You know, you don't run with these boys. All right. And the reason why you don't run with these boys is because they have too many shooters. They got guys that spot up from three and they'll make them threes. All right. It's not like this is, you know, the Sacramento Kings or anything like that where you got guys, guys that can spot up but can't make that shot consistently. Now, we're talking about a team that just last year won 73 games. You know what I'm saying? And not they're not too far removed from that team. And then they add in another superstar player. So let me get to this, man. Let me break this down to y'all to show y'all why the Cavaliers lost game one of the NBA Finals. All right? Let's go ahead and play it right quick. All right? Rebound by Durant. Comes up court. All right? Now, I think that that's Kyrie Irving right there. Let me go ahead and pause it. Let me go ahead and pause it. What is Kyrie Irving doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I get I get that I get that, you know, Durant is, you know, a heap of trouble. But that's his man on that play. You understand what I'm trying to say? That's his man. That's his responsibility on that play. He's not he shouldn't be worried about anybody else in the backcourt. Should be worried about at least slowing him down. Alright. Kevin Love is completely out of the play. All right, because he was out of position on a rebound. And then you got, you know, Kyrie Irving, who just completely moved out of the way. And then you got LeBron is like, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm the giver, not the receiver. All right. And then you got KD with the finish right there. So, you know, you can't play that type of transitional defense and be the team like the Warriors. You just can't do that at all. You know, and it, like this is this is a problem that they have to fix quickly or it's going to be a four game sweep. This is something that, you know, this is something that that is fixable through transitional defense and assignments. But, you know, bottom line is this is something that is really, really bad. And they got to clean this up real quick or else it's going to be it's going to be over the quick shots and the transition. Like there was a couple I wanted to show a couple with, you know, with LeBron um, uh, coming up and pulling up for threes. That's not his game either. And as you can see, Kyrie Irving, like, you know, he's pointing out the assignments and then he jumps over out of the way thinking that LeBron probably step up. But that's his man. I mean, he has to shade him, get a, get a body in front of him or something. So if y'all wanted to know why. You know, the Warriors took game one of the NBA Finals. That's it right there. That's it. So let me know how y'all feel about game one, the NBA Finals. Um, at this point, I think that the Cavaliers can win a game. I mean, I was willing to give them two games, and I, I think that I should stick to that. Because, you know, you know, I, you know, Oracle Arena... The atmosphere, I think that they'll play better in game two. I think that their transitional defense can be fixed in game two. But from the standpoint of 
letting the Warriors set the pace. You can't let these guys set the pace. You know, you just can't let these guys set the pace. There was teams that during the regular season that was able to kind of disrupt their pace. That's the reason why the Spurs, well, you know, up until Kawhi Leonard got hurt, I thought that the Spurs would be able to kind of, you know, they were the biggest test to these guys. And then you've seen game one of the Western Conference Finals, how the Spurs were able to disrupt their pace and play in that half-court set with ball rotation, ball movement, and finding the right guy and making that shot. Spurs are the best in the league at that. The Cavaliers need to channel that. They need to they need to go call up Popovich, you know what I'm saying, get that half-court set straight, move the ball around on rotation, and make the Warriors play defense for a full 24 seconds so they won't have enough legs to go down court and pull up for threes like Steph Curry was doing at the end of the third quarter. So let me know how you guys feel, man, about game one, game one reaction. It's the WC, and until next time, peace out.